Okay, good morning class. I'm Durgesh Prashant and today we are going to talk about video of class 9th, chapter 1, cells. And the topic today we are going to cover is prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. In the last lectures, the first lecture we talked about introduction to the cell. Second, we talked about cell theory. Third, we talked about presence of cell or the types of cell on the basis of location that plant cell and animal cell and now on the basis of characteristics we are going to categorize cells in two forms okay the first being the prokaryotic cell and the second being the eukaryotic cell friends these are two types of cell which we basically define on the basis of presence or absence of nucleus. So, this prokaryotic cell is the one which lacks nucleus and this eukaryotic cell has nucleus okay so if we try to define the prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell only the definition then we say the type of cell which do not possess a complete or true nucleus is termed to be as prokaryotic cell and the one which possesses true nucleus is called the eukaryotic cell. This means the basic difference of or between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell is the presence or absence of the nucleus and obviously if True nucleus is present, nuclear membrane will be there. And if nucleus is not present, nuclear membrane will also not be present. But today we will talk about a few other differences also, such as we will talk about a few characteristics. I have listed seven characteristics over here size, nucleus, number of chromosomes, cell type, nuclear membrane, presence or absence of lysosomes, and mitochondria. So on the basis of these seven characteristics, we are going to differentiate between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So I hope the definition to you is quite clear that if nucleus is present in a cell, if nucleus is present in a cell, well-defined nucleus is present in a cell, that is called a eukaryotic cell. And if well-defined nucleus is not present in the cell, that is called a prokaryotic cell. Okay. Now, let us talk about the first characteristic that is the size. Size greatly varies between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. You can well see the size of a prokaryotic cell is hardly 1 to 10 micrometer. While in the case of eukaryotic cell this ranges from 10 to 100 micrometer this means there is a difference of 10 times in the size of the cell 1 to 10 micrometer 10 to 100 micrometers this is a great difference between the size of the cell because we are talking about 10 times change then we talk about nucleus. Obviously, we did in the definition that nucleus is absent in case of prokaryotic cells and present in case of eukaryotic cells. Then we talk about chromosomes. Let me tell you over here only that chromosomes are X-shaped structures which basically bear the basic genetic material called the genes or the DNA. There are large collections of DNA or the our genes. So, number of chromosomes in case of prokaryotic cell is only 
one and number of chromosomes in case of eukaryotic cell is more than one. Let me bring this to your notice over here. Obviously, these are prokaryotic cells, primitive cells. So since these cells are primitive, the genetic data is also small. Since these are eukaryotic cells, if these are developed ones, they have nucleus, they perform high, high activities, so they have more genetic data. Since the genetic data is less, there is therefore only one nucleus. And this bears more than one nucleus. No, sorry, number of chromosome. Sorry, this bears only one chromosome and this bears more than one chromosome. Because if I say that this bears more than one chromosome, this may mean that a particular cell may contain two or three or four or five and as in our case 46 or 23 pairs. As in case of humans, we have 23 pairs. So different eukaryotic cells have different number of chromosomes. The number of chromosome may vary from one eukaryotic cell to another eukaryotic cell. But in case of all types of prokaryotic cell, the number of chromosome will be only one. And that too is not very well developed in many of the cases. Okay, then cell type. Now we are talking about cell type or we are talking about organization of the organism. So these prokaryotic cell, uh, uh, these prokaryotic cells are generally unicellular in nature. Means the organism itself consists of only one cell. But the one which carries eukaryotic cells are generally multicellular in nature. Okay? Then we talk about nuclear membrane. Since the nucleus is not present or not developed, obviously nuclear membrane will also be absent. And since nucleus is present and well developed, nuclear membrane will also be present. Then, and then at last we talk about two cell organelles such as lysosomes and mitochondria. We can talk about some more also in the classes but for today here we are talking about lysosomes which are protective units of cell and mitochondria the powerhouse of cell both in case of prokaryotic cell both are absent while in case of eukaryotic cells, which are better developed cells, both are present. Okay, so prokaryotic cells are one which lacks nucleus, eukaryotic cells possess nucleus. The size ranges from 1 to 10 micrometer, 10 to 100 micrometer. Nucleus is absent, present. Number of chromosomes is only one in case of prokaryotic cells, while it's quite high or maybe higher in case of eukaryotic cells. Cell type is unicellular, multicellular lysosomes are present, absent, present. Mitochondria, the powerhouse of cell, is also absent in case of prokaryotic cell and present in case of eukaryotic cells. So, this was all for today. We'll mark this as lecture 4. And tomorrow, in the next class, we will start our lecture on cell organelles. We'll talk about different cell organelles. The next lecture would be on cell wall and cytoplasm. Okay, thank you.